Hi people, I'm back. Wettier and itchier than ever before. If you're new here, this is the marathon rebuild on a 25 foot bathroom. Probably wouldn't fix it the way I fix stuff, but you might get some ideas on how I overcome different problems and hopefully hope you one day. I'm paranoid about it cracking around here, especially over that side because on the outside of the side of the deck is it's got bad fiberglass. It's all I just dry. wanted to show you guys this. a few this. bits that I'm not happy with around here and on the other side. So I'm gonna put a thick mix of epoxy resin and aerosol there and then glass over it straight away and then somehow glide it onto there and there. I think this video might give you some ideas on how to get straight edges. Because I've changed the shape of my dash to suit the curved windows like the 25 foot river or river, my challenge has been to blend the dash into the new sides that I've made. I think my techniques have come from the construction industry. I've got some concrete friends that have kind of shown me how they use formwork and that type of stuff. The sketch on the screen is the second iteration bow sprit. Um, the first one was an absolute abortion. So hopefully this turns out. I've got a new CNC router. Thanks, Benny Diesel. Feels like I'm totally cheating now. This is the first thing that I made with it. And this is the biggest this machine can cut as well. Oh man, that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. This has dragged on for three days because I had to keep stopping it because something was going wrong. The first reason was because I was taking two smaller chunks away at a time and it was going to take ages which it still took ages the, the second time was because it was chattering so then i had to grease up the rails that sorted that out and then the third time was because it was going to finish too late yesterday so then i stopped it i paused it on the there and then just pulled this out because this still runs when you pause it and then i let it let it go until the next day and then and then I started it up again. I lost the zero on the second time. I'm two mil out this way and I'm five mil out that way. Whatever it is, I'll just touch it up with the grinder and get it nice and shiny and then I'll make a mold out of this. And then I'll fiberglass in the mold and blah, blah, blah. And while I was making that, I started making a box to put over it to shut it up because it is annoying and it is pissing my neighbours off something fierce. So I'm just waiting for the council to come. I made the box go up with the same actuators I'm going to use to lift the roof on the boat. It was good. I learned a lot. Um, I'm really going to struggle trying to keep it going up steady. I'll need to come up with something really fancy. Here I'm putting some layers of fiberglass. The first few layers are around the sides holding the wooden top onto the old existing deck. I'm using epoxy resin because I don't want the sides to have any chance to come off and epoxy resin is meant to be the bee's knees. Okay, so I'm gonna run two more layers of glass over everything before I flip it and... The workbench I'm wetting the mat out on is completely layered with epoxy resin now, hard, so it doesn't absorb any resin um, and I've found this is the fastest way by far uh, especially with epoxy it doesn't wet the mat out as nice um, so I'll, I sometimes I do like two layers and then blob it on and then two layers on the table and then blob it on and you get the idea you know I'm gonna be totally honest here but at this stage of this build, I have 
definitely lost enthusiasm. I am really struggling. Because I've had some time away from it, it's so much harder to get into it. I'm really not fussy with the peel ply. If there's bubbles in it, I don't care. So I haven't touched this thing in about six weeks or something. Now I've just got to get everything back to normal. Um, I can't even remember where I filmed to. I haven't had a look, but yeah, I've got some fiberglass over here. I beefed up in there and over the, that corner over there. Now I've just got to clean up all this bog that I did put too thickly there. It's so hot in the suit at the moment, but it's still better than being itchy. I still get itchy. Here I'm laying some epoxy filler on. It's just Q-cell and aerosols mixed with epoxy resin, five to one. I try to make it a little bit runny so I don't make it thick. So I ended up plugging up all the rod holders. I used epoxy resin because I'm already using it. So <laughs> anyway, a bit of an overkill, but she'll be right. So it's just gonna be a fresh start. I'll probably end up putting the holes back in the same spot. Plenty more epoxy bog. I'm like a plasterer. That's what I feel like, or a renderer trying to make it as smooth as possible so I don't have to sand as much. To bog in the corners, I just use my finger. It's just the easiest way to do it. And I'm running low on gloves, so I'm just going bare knuckle. Wonder if anyone's still here. More bog. To get this flat again, I'm just gonna do the same thing I did last time before I put the fiberglass on and put these straight edges on. First, I've gotta clean them up a bit from last time. But it looks like I made a nice cake out of the boat. Pay attention to this bit. This will save you time. Instead of bogging and bogging and bogging, you just wipe heaps of bog on and splat the straight edges on. Boom, boom, boom. Bob's your uncle, she's done. Just crack the straight edge off after it's hardened. Easiest job on the planet. I've been working on the boat really late just because it's cooler. Plus I'm always working. I'm telling you, this trick is gold. It turns out awesome. Just screed along the edges Make it nice and square. If the bog starts falling a bit, just blob some tape backwards on it and it holds it up. And then you've got a nice 90 degree straight edge and a flat top. I'm using Malamine with no release agent and that's with epoxy resin filler. Turns out beautiful. Okay, recording. So while this is hardening, I'm going to work on the bow sprit again. It looks something like that. Now I've just got to make that bit. First I'm fixing the symmetry in the bow sprit on one of the sides and I'm just using normal carbog. As you can see, I'm really liking this method using a straight edge. I don't think it's wizardry. I'm pretty sure other people have figured it out, but it's working a treat for me. I put this board here 
so I can build this bit out from fixing the zero. Carbog hardens in about 10 minutes and you can sand it. Now I'm doing the straight edge thing with epoxy resin on these corner bits here. Okay, so that's what it kind of looks like. I can always make another one of these bow sprits later. I'm, I'm struggling for enthusiasm. Um, I really should have built it a fair bit different. It would have looked better if it was like the big ones. I'd like build it out wider and then cup around the anchor but anyway that'll do for now first iteration so i just put carbog all over it oh, i've added that extension bit and uh i've just got to sand it back i'm just going to put it in the sun and then get on to sanding in there yeah, i'll just rip this off i'll put the tape there so the bog didn't fall nice straight edge and I'll do it to the other side and I'll just plob some stuff over there. So it's been a full day for all of the epoxy to cure, at least. On some sections, it's two days. Um, but I um, end up getting impatient and I end up using the big bertha. <laughs> going to town with that just because I'm fully shaping everything and um, on that first bog I, I couldn't get everything spot on but yeah after I do this and then another bog it turns out really nice. Have I said how hot it is right now? So that's what she's gonna look like. Pretty much exactly like that. And then I'll have this hatch. We'll have like a bonnet scoop here. And, and it's got a big roller there and the drum anchor winch will be there. And uh, I might cut into here so the anchor is kind of in there, but later down the track I might make like a panel that cups that that like scoops out like that that scoops out like that and then the anchor will be here and go go around like that like the other ones oh, I reckon they look better and uh, I've got to do some more bogging I spent about four four and a half hours sanding and grinding. That's what you saw before. It's starting to look like it's all a part of the boat. It's, it looks like it's supposed to look like that. <laughs> it's starting to look less of an add-on. But there's a couple of... I've got to do another bog. And uh, it's a bit wonky just, just there. Gotta fix that up. And I've like sanded all this nice and it probably needs, yeah, it needs some more bog there, but um, I bloody missed all these holes. <laughs>
Don't leave the hardener in a container overnight because that's what happens. It's all got crystals. Ugh, look at how messy everything is. So I'm starting the tractor up. You know something good's gonna happen when that happens. I'm going to dummy fit the deck to the hull. Hopefully it fits. <laughs>